Uh, hello to all the boys and girls out there in shortwave land. I'm um, in the process of building uh, an antenna which is mostly going to be used for shortwave listening. And, um, but I do occasionally want to be able to transmit through it. So the type of antenna that I'm building is called a T2FD. And it's a terminated folded dipole. And when I say terminate, I mean it has like a dummy load, a uh, 450 ohm or a 300 ohm dummy load at the opposite end of where you feed it. And uh, what that does is it um, absorbs any excess SWR, stops it from returning back to your radio, just gets dissipated in the dummy load. So whatever the antenna doesn't radiate ends up getting used up as heat in the dummy load, which sounds bad, but it's not as bad as it seems. You know, generally speaking, across most bands, you, you don't waste much energy at all in that dummy load. Um, now, uh, that particular antenna needs a, um, a ballot in order to work. And there's uh, commonly there's two types of balance that are in use, mostly a 6 to 1 balance and also a 9 to 1 balance. So what I've had to do is build a couple of balance, a 6 to 1, which I built the other day, and a 9 to 1, which I just finished building today. And uh, they're both built, and now I'm in the process of testing the um, 450 ohm or the 90, 9 to 1 ballon. So in order to test the 9 to 1 ballon, you, your ballon basically you got your 50 ohm input, and those two screw terminals are your output or your 450 ohm output or input, whichever the case may be. Now, in this case, what I've done is I've strung three 150 ohm resistors in series, which gives you 450 ohms. And as you can see, you can see the resistors there just uh, wrapping around. And then to, in order to test the balance, you then have to um, test it with something. So I'm using an antenna analyzer to test it. So that coax goes around and comes into this antenna analyzer here. I'll just get this thing to focus first. Okay, so we've achieved focus. Now, um, uh, the red line indicates the, the uh, impedance in ohms. And the green line, which is right at the bottom at the moment, indicates the SWR. So the red line right across from HF along that bottom scale of, which is uh, basically 600 kilohertz to 31.5 megahertz. And if you look at the uh, red line, which is the impedance line, it's pretty much sitting flat across that range at 46.4 ohms. So that's pretty good considering uh, I was looking for 50 ohms. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's close enough. And the SWR is that green line along the bottom, which basically shows from 600 kilohertz to 31.5 megahertz, it shows a one-to-one -one SWR. So again, very impressive. Perfect, better than what I was expecting. So the ballon itself is working really, really well. So I'm happy with that. So the next step now is to actually build the actual antenna, set it up outside, connect this all up, and see what uh, what results I get. So it could be, it, it could make a very, very good shortwave uh, receive antenna, and hopefully it makes a reasonably good uh, TX antenna as well for the rare, rare times when I do. Uh, TX. Anyway, that's it. Just thought I'd uh, show what's going on around here at the moment. So uh, catch you next time.